Hello, you're watching the Single Malt Review, and our whistle stop tour of Glen Cadden Distillery's core range continues with the 15 year old. Mm, middle of the road mm. for this one, and sort of, I guess, approximately halfway between the, the 10 and the 21. Yeah. But again, as with the others in this entire range, or bottled at 46% ABV, no colouring and no chill filtration, which mm. are good things to see which all around. Which is excellent. Mm. It's really, really excellent. The 10-year-old uh, got this series off to a strong start with some really quite surprising characteristics. Very, very spirit-driven, mm. the 10-year-old. Uh, if you hadn't watched that particular yeah. review, if you haven't, you should probably catch up. Mm. But the 15 here, conspicuously deeper colour, yeah. darker colour than the 10. So I'm going to expect something a little woodier mm. from this one. Now, we mentioned Jim Murray's scores in our previous episode, not to pick on the man, of course, but because uh, Glenn Cadham do quote him amongst the many accolades they've received, actually, on their website in their descriptions of these whiskies. And uh, Mr. Murray rated the 10-year-old most highly of these three, whereas the 15 scored lowest from him. So we're keen mm. to see how our experience compares mm. to one of whiskey's most you know, honoured um, uh, critics. So we'll, we'll, we'll see, see how we go. We'll see. Um, well, it depends who you talk to. Well, um, they're definitely but, established um, and a respected Established the, is the yeah. word. It is the word. Um, now this one, mm. conspicuously darker, yeah. to the point where I don't think this is just older. This has some sherry component, oh, in it, I am right. certain. There is a deepness to the otherwise mm. sort of lovely gold hue, which makes me makes me pretty suspicious. Well, not suspicious, but makes me it, it, it pricks my ears up for mm. European oak. Yeah. So I think that's got a component here in addition to the extra mm. five years maturation. The presentation in the box with the beige insert helped to hide the distinction of mm. the colour. It all pretty much the same from the outside, but seeing it on its own, that is quite uh, more golden, more vibrant. It is a richer colour. Mm. And nose, a richer nose. Yeah. yeah, that is heavier, more oily. Even more sweet somehow. Well, I'm getting a lot more. We're honey. getting into the yeah. You know, we're we're well into the red fruits mm. spectrum now. So if indeed there's more sherry cask as you're yeah. saying, and that will explain the extra honey that has and the additional fruits. Super super ripe. It mm. was green apples before. It is and well loads of pears. Red yeah. apples. That was now. a bite into a nashi pear last yeah. time, and it is not present this time. Or at least not as obvious, because I think there's mm. there's so much more. There's so much louder flavors going on yeah. here now. We're getting. Red fruits, we're getting berries, red currants, Ooh, yes. raspberries almost. Um, mm. Yeah, is, there's a hint of a creamy strawberryness, a tiny yeah. of, of Weems red berry cream, if you remember that one from back in the I day. I do, that was, a, was one of your bottles. That was well, well bottles. back in the day, yeah. well back in the day, yeah. So it's a uniquely uh, sweet, creamy, sort of yogurty. y uh, That berry was, fruit. was a Ben Nevis from memory. Mm, but, I believe so. Uh, yeah, this one, whereas the 10 was very, it was mm. quite introverted, quite laid back, quite sort of slow to develop and innocuous in its character. This one is much more of a barnstormer. This one comes out swinging with mm. the, just with the nose alone, there is, oh, superb amounts of stuff going on. And I think we've mostly covered it. There's, yeah, huge red fruits, berries, raspberries in particular, huge amount of raspberry mm. on there. Red currants and was a good one. I don't yeah. get, we don't get a lot of fresh currants in this current country. But no, we don't have a, not, not much, a, of a, much of a, much of a mm. mecca for currants down here, and or not red currants anyway. We've mm. got plenty of black currants, which I find a bit unrewarding, really, <laughs> um, and they don't come up in whiskey too often. Yeah. That's more your um, Cabernet Sauvignon type mm. flavour. But um, yeah, this one, and also the the honey's there, and it's gotten richer, and there's some. There's just a touch of spice. There's a touch of ginger. There's a touch of cinnamon, and there's. Mm. <sighs> Maybe a touch and a half of nutmeg. I'm right. struggling to take the spices, but hopefully mm. they'll come through on the palate for me. Yeah. So um, let's let's see the full full forty six. Yeah. Oh yeah, there is some oily heft there. The wood this time is quite up front. With the ten year old, the wood snuck through at the end and then just exploded onto the palate. Here, there's an initial hit of oakiness that goes swiftly into some rich, uh, very strong fruity flavours, a good degree of sweet uh, fruitiness, mm -hmm. and also some spice. Man, there is some spice a, happening early on. This is a, a manifestly different whiskey oh, yeah. to the first one. This is a very, very, very different style. Mm. The wood here is super duper active, whereas the previous mm. one was not at all. And I think Dave's covered most of the major, major yeah. notes there, but it's... The first one 
well, rather compared to the first one, there is a mouth-watering, acid-juicy quality mm. to this one, which was totally absent to the last one. It yeah. really, this one really gets the guns, the salivary glands into mm. action. There's a bit of a, imagine a particularly vibrant and very acid white wine. Mm. There's that kind of a sharpness happening. But that's in addition to everything else which is going yeah. on, which is quite a lot. This one is it's juicy and mm. it's rapid. The flavours flow yeah. from one to the next with a supreme rapidity, mm. um, which it's not a it's not a note I've used often in whiskey. It's something I've I also um, critique beer on and off in a much mm. more local capacity and rapidity, speed of a palate. Mm. I've found to be quite a useful quantifier for. Describing yeah, just how, how fast okay. one flavour follows the other. Yeah, some palettes palette. are very focused and slow mm. to describe them. Some palettes are rapid. The flavours, they sort of crash into one another, one after the other, and it moves. It mm. sweeps across the tongue. And this one, this is an example of a rapid palette, yeah. to use that, use that in whiskey terms. In fact, if I can wax nostalgic for a minute, there's one thing in particular happening here which is bringing me back to childhood. Mm. I should assure everyone, my childhood involved no whiskey whatsoever. Um, very sensible, healthy upbringing like that. But what I am nostalgic for is every Christmas at home we would have this distinct uh, cut crystal bowl which would fill with a selection of whole shelled nuts. Uh, Brazil nuts, almonds, walnuts, chestnuts, not chestnuts though, but every other nut you can imagine just ready to be cracked open and enjoyed fresh. And the flavours in here reminded me of the smell of that bowl of nuts, whole in their shells, raw, there's just all those different sort of subtle nutty aromas all wafting through this but onto the tongue it's those, it's a flavor which is evoking that scent mm. very specifically and very intensely for me the, the the nuttiness for me comes out it forms the majority of the finish which again compared to the 10 year old is mm. really really quite long and quite happening yeah uh, they share that quite fiery element i mm. haven't put water in this yet but with the full 46 that really does. It is a warming and quite. There's um, a pretty vibrant, filling. pretty vibrant burn on yeah. there. Yeah. So, mm. I don't know exactly where that comes from, but it is. It's pretty distinctive. It's, it is gentler than the burn on the end of mm. the ten-year-old. That was quite a distinct and quite hot burn that accompanied the woodiness right at the finish. Here, it's more pervasive throughout, but a bit more subdued. Uh, less of a burn, but with a longer duration. Mm. That's a little water, that's oh, going to soften boy. a bit. That's, that improves it even more. That is oh. just racy and juicy, and it's kind of shortened hmm. the palate a wee bit, but just that that mouth-watering juiciness is just it's yeah. enormous. This is such a different animal from the first one, and mm. I'm enjoying it so much more. Um, I mean, Jim Murray scores whatever. This one is definitely going higher than the oh. first one, I can tell you that much. This one is just such a... It's happening. It is a mm. happening whiskey. It is really it is doing to doing things to me in my mouth, which is ideal whiskey mm. experience. Um, this it's one, not just the ten year old plus a bit extra, a yeah. bit stronger. No, it's a different animal. There are yeah, some yeah. common elements that you can tell it's the same whiskey, but it's like it's but only oh, just. It's I think if I, if I tasted new. these blind, I wouldn't. I'd um, oh. I'd say You'd think this one. This one is almost going in an Abelua direction. Right. Whereas um, that one was almost its own unique thing because so few whiskies are presented mm. that spirit forward. There are at least so few branded whiskies. Um, I, I gave the ten a a five, mm. and I'm going to have to crank it up to an eighty eight for this yeah. one. This one is really really tickling me. What well, do you think? I'm going to go even higher. What we got here is a complex, interesting, varied, just evolution of a 10-year-old. It's related, but brings so much more as well, and that rates up to a 91 for yeah, me. It's, We're going into high score. It's good. Tree. I wouldn't yeah. even say evolution. I would say transformation mm. of the 10-year-old. It is, yeah, it is It is a different style, mm. and I, if you lined these up for me blind, I would miss it. Miss it 90% of the times that these had the same... Whiskey DNA. You think it was the, a completely different distillery? I think it was a completely different distillery. Wow. Um, because this one has so much more going on. Just the mm. style is so much. Um, yeah, there's just there's panache in mm. here. There's racy goodness, and wow. I love it. So we will see. We will see yeah. what the 21 brings to the party. Or the 21 is to take it to the next level. Yeah, 21. That, that's mm. an old whiskey, 21. Oh, yeah. So we will see. We will see what it's got for us. Stick around. Slanger. Yeah.